I grew up in Rotherham. My mum was born and bred in Sheffield and my dad um, came from Ireland as an immigrant when he was 16. Both of them left school early, my dad with no qualifications and because they didn't have the opportunity of education beyond secondary level, really gave us yeah, every encouragement to say, you, know, you can do whatever you want, you can be whoever you want, and actually you know, focusing on you know, school education and learning is a really important way of, of doing that. Somebody said, well, you should do one of these vacation visits with a solicitor's firm. That was a choice between that and the sort of summer catering jobs that you do. So I did a vacation visit, really enjoyed it. Sometimes after the vacation visits, apparently people were made offers straight away without having to go through an interview process. One of the reasons I went through an interview process, I was told subsequently, was because there was a concern that clients might not take me seriously because of my accent. If I'd been told that when I was going through the interview process, I would have walked out in a fit of um, high dudgeon and said, I'm not going to come here if you don't want me. But that was an example, I think, of, of a time when probably those things mattered more. Yeah, I hadn't grown up in a home and an environment where people had to wear a suit to go to work. So I just didn't quite know what I was wearing and whether it was right or whether it was wrong. But I, I do think that those are the sorts of things that actually do get in the way. You walk into an environment and a building where people are wearing what isn't described as a uniform, but what is a uniform, and you don't quite know how that fits and what you should be doing and where you should be buying it from and all of that sort of stuff. One of the really important things about working anywhere is that you do need to have a culture and an environment where you feel comfortable and confident. You've got to talk about the fact that actually the skills we're looking for are around judgments and capabilities, not around particular backgrounds or particular experience. And then once people are here, talk to them, listen to them, give them the support that they, they need and that works for them. I'm Tracy McDermott and change starts together.